everybody Ann here just sitting here on the porch having my coffee with all of you lovely people. Today's video is kind of an exciting one for me to do. A company reached out to me and said we would like you to review this product and I'm like uh yeah definitely. I don't know if you remember but somebody a while back had sent me a little mini chainsaw and there were a ton of people wanting to know where I got it or where can they purchase the exact same one. Well this company, look, look, Anvil, they sent me a mini chainsaw. And the cool thing is, is that it has two batteries with it. Whoops, you can't even really see. Two batteries with it, and I think it has two chains with it as well. And it's for a very good price. So I'm going to put this together. I'm going to charge up one of the batteries at least fully. And then we're going to give this thing a try and see how it works. Before I put it together, though, I want to show you the different pieces. So here is the mini chainsaw. Very cool. Yep. And it comes disassembled. So it comes with a charger. Two batteries. Here's the little blade protector thingy comes with the Phillips head screwdriver and one of these I'm pretty sure it's going to be used to tighten tighten the, the chain up it comes with one two three chains you guys three chains and look at this cute little thing I can't wait to get this together and I'm very glad that I get to put this together because now I'll know if I assemble it, I'm, no, I'm going to know how to disassemble it, put it back together. Again, if the chain comes off, I'm going to know what to do. So now I'm going to put it together. Instructions. I can do this. Step one, loosen the side cover with this here thingy so you can start putting it all together. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. <laughs> the bolt is off and the cover slides right off. Next, I need to put this onto this. I don't think it looks too hard, do you? Heck no. Look at that. It just goes right on there. Before I put the cover on though, I did want to show you. See how that, there's a little ridge in there, a little crevice. That's where the chain goes down into. Just make sure it's nice and tight in there. There we go. Not quite in the pocket yet, as they say. See? Easy. Of course, part of the chain goes around this. It fits over... There's one little hole that the blade fits right over this. And see that little screw there? That's how you tighten the chain. Next part, let's just put it on here. Pretty easy. You just gotta get it lined up like that. Now we get to put the cover back on. And it fits. There's little pins and whatnot, and they all fit into their respective spots. Very good. Now we just got to get this bolt on. I can't believe I'm doing this myself without Cody here. And I want it to drop. Okay. I'm assuming the flat side of the bolt goes down. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna get it finger tight at first. Can you see that? Looking good so far, right? And then let's just tighten this up. For an old granny, I think I'm doing pretty good. Okay, that's on nice and tight. Now the standard is, <laughs> This is too loose. You should only be able to pull this down and see maybe between one and three of these teeth. I like to keep mine a little bit tighter, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. And do you remember that, what I showed you? Right down there? That's how you tighten it up. So let's see if I can get this tightened up. I was having trouble tightening it with the whole thing together, but I just wanted to show you what happens. It moves that little thing back and forth. See that? That little pin? 
that's what's happening when you tighten this thing up. So I'm going to try that and see how that works. There we go. Got it all back together. After I got it on, I did tighten it up just a little bit more with this. I think that's going to be okay. Now it's time to put on this. All you have to do is take this little cover thingy, I don't know what you call it, and drop down a screw. You just got to line it up and then drop the screw down in it. And with the Phillips head screwdriver provided, just screw it in until it's nice and tight. And here it is, you guys. I got it all put together all by myself. It was surprisingly easy. I love it. I'm a chainsaw mama. I got a nice little stack of wood over there. I'm going to start small and just see how much this little chainsaw can do. Notice when I first started sawing the wood that this little guard thing was flopping all over the place and it was flapping back down onto here. All you need to do is tighten this screw right there. Just tighten it so it can still move but so that it's not flopping all over the place. And once I tighten that, it worked much better. Also, make sure that you get your chain on facing the right direction because if you don't, it, it will uh, push back instead of pull forward. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know what? For an old lady like me, this is the kind of chainsaw that I need. I don't have the physical strength nor the confidence to handle a big, huge chainsaw anymore these days. So this, I can saw everything that I need to get cut up wood-wise, um, from the little tiny twigs to uh, logs as big as my lower arm, <laughs> upper arm rather. So it is perfect. It's a perfect solution for me. I can operate it. I'm 56 years old and I've got arthritis and I can still chop wood or cut wood or saw wood, whatever you want to call it, with one of these things. So there's going to be a link down in the description below to, uh, well, this on Amazon. You're going to be able to buy it. I think it's about 75 bucks and you get all of that stuff that's in the package and it's very well packed and their customer service is super awesome. So yeah, I got to recommend this, you guys. If you click on the link down below, it will take you to my Amazon storefront where you can buy this product. And because I'm an Amazon affiliate, I will make a teeny, teeny bit of money off of it. So, yeah, go check them out, you guys. I think these little chainsaws are great. You know, I really do, especially for a woman my age or a man or whoever. I think it's a good, good thing to get. And um, I'm glad. I'm glad that I've got the three chains with it and the two batteries I can charge both of those batteries up and just go and like saw down a bunch of wood anyway that's all I got for you guys today see you in the next video for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.